dinosaurs. Why did they die? Scientists, paleontologists, and thinkers the world over have pondered this very queer query. Many believe in theories of a cataclysm of some kind, but what? Could it have been a meteor, perhaps, as so many of us currently believe? Or was it a worldwide plague or famine that wiped out our giant predecessors from the globe? New research from a highly controversial scholar has shed light on what could truly be the reason for the destruction of the dinosaurs. A Blistery Channel production. Darmodyville, South Dakota. Here we meet Dr. Cristobal Calliopolingus, master blistorian and blistery channel stockholder. He has been studying extremely hard for as many as four days now, pondering and repondering the questions revolving around the extinction of the dinosaurs. These hours spent researching, up to dozens of hours at this point, have brought Dr. Calliopolingus to a startling conclusion that may forever change the way we view late Cretaceous paleontological research. Well, it was obvious to me that the dinos must have caught hell back then, right? But I was like, from what? You know? So I determined that there had to be something big. I mean, something really big that wiped them all out. Then I thought about all my other theories. What one theory permeated all my research? You know, all my details of, of what had been up to weeks and weeks of constant study in the field of blistery. And I found that maybe, just maybe, it wasn't just a meteor that struck the Earth. Picture this, if you will. Dinosaurs. Maybe millions of them. Billions of them. All running. 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 Running from what? What are they running from? You see blasts of light and here. Bam! Bam! <laughs> They're dead. They're dead. Bam! Dead. You're looking, you're looking, you can't tell, you can't tell what's happening, and then from the shadows, from the sky, it's them! UFOs. Prehistoric aliens committing dinocide. They're coming from all directions now, and they're herding them into little groups, and zap, zap, zap! And they're being killed. Oh, the dinosaurity! Oh, the dinosaurity! But oh. not all oh. experts agree with this yeah, trend. Theological professor Dr. Oh, Hemsworth hey. Dumplingfield, head of oh, the science and technology oh, department at the University of Christ's enormous eye of all-seeing forgiveness cry. AM in Sac and Fac, Mississippi, denies the progressive claims of oh. Dr. Calliopolingus. He has some theories of his own. Now this doctor spitting all kinds of paganisms about the great godly dino friends our good god Abraham on heaven's door rode around himself. He just fashioned an old Moses times dino saddle on there. And yee Good times to be had on them dinos before Satan and all the unbelievers and those who believe in our God a little bit differently from us killed them all. Now... I know many of my godly brothers and sisters in Christ say the world is only truly 6,000 years old, but I refute their claim to much too old. Everyone knows the earth ain't been around that long. 
I have a new claim, a more godly claim. I say it's only been about 70 years since that's all I can account for. And all the good God, Jesus, Mary, and Abraham said I could remember. So I'm saying the earth been there 70 years. And them dinosaurs would still be here if it weren't for them dirty foreigners. Come in and ruin our good country 60 to 65 years ago. Killing all our good American Christian dinosaurs. Amen. We at the Blistery Channel felt obliged to show you both sides of this story. The two only sides in what had happened to the dinosaurs. We hope you appreciate our candor and bipartisan approach to this truly important historical topic. Next on the Blistery Channel, stay tuned for drunken hillbilly pawn porn. <laughs> only on the Blistery Channel. Remember... Ignorance is bliss. The Blistery Channel.